Hey everybody, this is our video covering our 24 hours in Nara, what we did, what we saw, what we ate, and how we got here. First up, how we got there. We did a lot of research before flying into Osaka, and I'll link the sites I use below. Many people do a day trip from Kyoto to Nara, but we opted to go to Nara first, right from the airport in Osaka. From what I saw, we could take a bus or a train. All this information is based on not using any regional or tourist transportation passes. A bus would be a little over 2,000 yen per person and take 90 minutes from the arrivals hall at Kix Airport to the Nara station. We could also take the train for a little bit more money, 2,200 yen per person, and be there in 70 minutes. There is a JR Haruku Airport Express right from the airport to Osaka Tenoji Station. From there, you'd switch to the JR Yamatoji Kaisuku Express to the JR Nara Station. That is at least what the internet told me we could do, but it's not what we did at all. When we got to the Kix Airport, we took the bus to the airport train station, like a seven minute ride. We were kind of overwhelmed at that point with all the ticket counters and train options, so we went to a counter and bought a ticket. <laughs> the one we got was for the Nankai Limited Express that would take us from the Kansai Airport Station to the Osaka Namba Station, where we transferred to the Kentetsu Nara Line. This entire trip took almost two hours and was definitely not what we were planning to do. We should have bought the JR tickets, but took this more regional train that stopped constantly. We got there a bit after 8 p.m. and walked to our hotel. Where we stayed. Nara is quite small and is mostly used for day trips from Kyoto and Osaka. Staying there at night and without the crowds was actually quite nice, especially in the morning. We wanted to stay in the old part of town, kind of in this area, and chose to stay here at the Nara Visitor Center and Inn. This hotel is great because for $60, we're literally staying like 10 minutes from the train station, right across the street from the entrance to the park, on top of the information center, which has an onsen, 24-hour desk, and a convenience store downstairs. It's amazing. Pretty surprisingly large for a Japanese room, which is nice. Two full beds. Now we're going to check out, um, leave our luggage here with the staff, and head to the park. What we did. The main attraction in Nara is the famous deer park. There are over 1,200 deer who live in the park. They are said to be the messengers of the gods and are protected and respected by the local people. The park is actually quite large, around 1,600 acres, and contains several UNESCO World Heritage historic sites. There are several places in Nara where you can rent bikes, but we decided to go by foot. The deer love their deer crackers, and you can buy them in little stalls around the park for 200 yen a bundle. The deer are famously known to bow in return for a cookie. More recently though, the deer have been acting up. My theory is that after a few years of COVID, the younger deer aren't as used to crowds and haven't been trained to bow. Instead, they gang up on you and headbutt you or bite you for food. The being sassy. Yeah. Don't bite. <laughs> Give me that book again. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's not what you want. We even saw them aggressively chasing around children. From what we found, the larger deer are better at bowing and keeping their distance. The younger deer are okay when they're alone, but once there is another deer nearby, they get aggressive and start to act up. Being mindful that they start to crowd around you, that things might escalate. Besides feeding deer, we also visited the Todaiji Temple. It is famous for the Great Buddha statue and is the largest wooden structure in the world. Admission to the Great Buddha Hall, or Daibutsu Den, is 600 yen for adults. Just from my research, some other things I had saved in the park were the Kasuga Taisha Shrine as being beautifully decorated with over 1,000 bronze lanterns. The Todaiji Naigasudo, or February Hall, has a good place to watch the sunset. There is also a firefly protected habitat. It was described as a magical place to visit during the nighttime from June to August. And then there's this little cluster of shops and restaurants. 
we went to Maharoba Daibutsu Pudding because I'd seen them on Instagram. They have tons of little pudding flavors for 400 yen a piece. The store in Mori Narazuke is a good place to pick up souvenirs and I had it marked specifically for their supply of famous Narazuke pickles. And then this sushi restaurant I had marked for selling a famous sushi from Nara called Kaki no Hazushi. We also had time to walk around the old town of Nara, which is located mainly southwest of the Deer Park. Places I had specifically saved were Harushika Sake Brewery Store. This is a 150 year old brewery and it costs us 500 yen to try five different types of sake. We bought several bottles of their sparkling sake, which we tragically left in our hotel fridge in Kyoto. <laughs> right down the street is Kanakana, a cafe located in an old merchant house. We didn't get a chance to eat there because the line was out the door. Down the street from there is this traditional townhouse built in 1917. It is free to enter and they'll give you a map of the house in English. There is a similar house several blocks south, which is known as the Lattice House. It is also free to enter and includes a gift shop. One of the more famous shops in Nara is Naka Tanido. It's gone viral online as the place where they make mochi in the traditional way with a mallet. It's right near the train station and people line up around the block to go there. Nara has an amazing tourism website and I'll leave a link below to some of their sightseeing maps and other resources. Let's move on to one of my favorite activities, souvenir shopping. Like I mentioned, we bought some sake, but I also had my eye on these, the Megawari Saru, or scapegoat monkeys. You will see these red fabric ornaments hanging in all shapes and lengths from doorways everywhere. They are believed to be the divine messengers of Koshin San, who is in turn believed to be in charge of life and death according to the Koshin religion. The monkeys are there as protection to suffer calamities in your place. We bought ours from this store owned by a very friendly couple. All of their monkeys are handmade from silk and repurposed kimono fabric. Nara is known for many traditional crafts. I'll put a link below with a full list, but here are some of my favorites. As a graphic designer, I'm very appreciative of calligraphy. In Nara, they are famous for their paper, brushes, and ink. This store is Nara's best known calligraphy shop where you can see a wide range of calligraphy accessories and handmade brushes. Akahata Pottery gets its name from the red clay of Mount Akahata. There's a pottery studio called Akahata Yaki Masashi and pieces can also be bought at the Nara National Museum gift shop. I had a store called Siki saved on my maps as a place to buy quote famous Nara socks with deers printed on them. There are three main shopping streets in Nara. They are Sanjo Dori, the main shopping street and where you'll find the famous mochi shop. Nearby is the Higashimuki shopping arcade that will lead you to the train station. We ate lunch here at the Yamato craft beer table and the beer was really good with options like IPAs, Weizens, and Stouts. The third shopping street is Mochi Dono shopping arcade. It has over 70 shops, restaurants, cafes, and craft stores. I will leave a link below with some highlights. Day trips. Nara is usually a day trip from Kyoto or Osaka, but there are many other beautiful places to visit nearby. I'll leave a link to a post with many good options, but two that I'm most interested in are Tomio. Five train stops away from Nara is Tomio a small town that has recently gained the attention of ramen lovers. One of the most popular restaurants is a six minute walk from the train station called Ramen Ya Mitsuba, which has been listed on the top 100 ramen restaurants of Western Japan. The second place on my list is Yoshino. From early April to May, Mount Yoshino is one of the most famous places to view cherry blossoms. It is a 90 minute train ride from Nara. Yoshino Sido forests are some of the oldest planted forests in the world, for centuries, the wood has been used to build ships, houses, and bridges. One of the more well-known woodworkers in Yoshino is Mr. Kobayashi, who owns Applejack Studios. I'll put a link to some of their work below. There is so much you can do during a short trip to Nara that it can be overwhelming. Get Your Guide offers some affordable and customizable tours that I will link below. We hope this helped you plan your perfect trip to Nara. 
If you've got any recommendations, please leave them in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.